Hello my loves! Today I have a Christmas get ready with me. To get started, I am using my Kat Von D hydrating primer and applying that all over my face. Then I'm taking my Kat Von D Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette and using this peach shade right here to cover those dark circles that I have underneath my eyes. Then I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation, and this is in the shade 220. It is a little bit off. I purchased this while I was in Mexico, and I just needed it. I didn't want to go back and return it and try to find my shade. They only had a limited supply of shades, so. Eh, but you know me. I'm not like this perfect makeup person, and my shit's always kind of messed up in one area or another, so. <laughs> you guys are used to it, I'm sure. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'll be applying that all over my face except where my lids or except on my lids because I'm going to be using that kind of as a primer for my eyeshadow except for this part right here where it just fell on my lids <laughs> but try to avoid it as much as possible. And right here I'm taking my Benefit Cosmetics 3 Deep Eyebrow Gel and applying that on my eyebrows. I'm going to skip through the whole eyebrow thing because I have it included on every single video and I think it's just so tedious. Now I'm taking my Carity Cosmetics and I'm using the shade e Nod as my base color. And applying that with a fluffy brush. This brush is from Sigma. Next, I'm taking the shade Safe Word and applying that mostly focusing on the outer corner and bringing it in towards the inner corner. Now, this palette is just one that's custom made. You just buy the shades and um, place it in the palette. So it's a refillable palette. Then I am going in with the shade Temptress and once again focusing more on the outer corner but this is going to be a deeper brown so I'm slowly building this just so it doesn't look so harsh and I have some nice blended lines and edges. And doing the same towards the other side and you want to avoid the lid space area. Then I'm going in with Patina, and this is just a beautiful shimmery cream, and this is what I'm going to apply on my lids, and I'm going to kind of carve out that lid space. You can place primer to make um, it look a bit more sharp, but I'm pretty lazy and I didn't want to do all that, so I'm just carving it out with the shadow, and it does a pretty good job without having to place any primer on there. Then I'm going to go back in with Temptress and I'm using just a skinny uh, lining brush and that's where I'm really going to start carving out that lid. And I'm doing it bit by bit just because I don't want, there's a hardly any room for error. <laughs> and then I am using a uh, pointed blending brush and just blending that out. Next I'm going in with Muzzle and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. This is just going to give it some subtle shadowing below. And for highlight I am using the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and using the shade Opal. This is just a beautiful pink, like a pastel pink highlight. Now I'm using my NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner. I like to use this one a lot because it works very well over uh, shimmer shadows. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just taking some mascara and applying that on my lashes. Using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, I am taking the shade Lo-Fi and this is just going to warm my skin up a little bit, doing a teeny bit of contouring. Then going back in with Easy and applying that just above. I'm then taking Opal and applying that as my cheekbone highlight. Moving on to lips, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Pink Brown M102. And this is a matte shade. It's a beautiful kind of plum pink. I'll be wearing red, so I kind of wanted to break up all the red with my red hair and my red dress. Just so there wasn't too much red going on. Um, I thought this shade would be a beautiful color. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Everlasting uh, Liquid Liner, and this is in the shade Por Vida. This is a beautiful plum pink. I also like to wear it with my red lipstick. Now for lashes, I'm taking my Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes and just simply applying those. And just going to let that dry, then applying some mascara on my lower lash line. And this is a mascara for Makeup Forever as well. And the makeup is complete. Moving on to my favorite thing, which is hair. I am uh, placing the top portion up and then I'm going to separate the lower portion in two sections. This doesn't have to be perfect. This is the style that I did last week as well, only this time the file isn't corrupt. <laughs> so uh, I had curl, uh, sorry, I blow dried my hair the day before. So now I'm just going to try to give it some volume and some curl without having to fully, fully style it like I normally do with my pin-up hairstyles. After I'm complete with that lower portion, I'm going to section on the sides and just hold for about 9 seconds and then pin it. Now normally I like to do my hair first and let it set while I'm doing my makeup. However, I had to leave and um, pick up my grandpa to take him to a doctor's appointment. So it just made sense to do my makeup first and then come back and do my hair. And I know I'll get asked this, but the reason I keep looking up is because I'm watching TV. I'm so sorry guys, I just need noise in the background and I'm hooked on the show and Netflix is the devil I swear because I can't stop watching <laughs> all these new shows. I just start binging them and so when I film, I'm watching episode after episode. Uh, but here is the final, not the final look, sorry. <laughs> so I let it set for about 15 minutes and then I'm taking my Target teasing comb and just starting off the lower sections, releasing them and teasing just at the root. I don't want so much tease like I normally used to do it. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of subtle teasing. Well, subtle for me. And then I'll be teasing all the way to the root until I get to my bangs. I'm gonna start uh, combing the outer, the top portion, just so everything looks much more smooth and you don't see the teasing underneath. Then I'm going to take my fingers and run my fingers through the curls, just kind of breaking, break them up and give them some more volume. Now I'm taking the uh, right side and just pinning that behind my ears. I'm using my Chi hairspray. You can find that at Target or Ulta, but um, sometimes Marshalls has it for like half the price. Then I'm going with uh, my going to my bang area and just teasing that as well. Mm -hmm. 
and next is all the molding so I'm just being very careful um, using a soft bristle brush and combing the outer layers then using my fingers to kind of just mold the wave the way I want it to go this really has a lot to do with um, just the way you brush the hair and um, your hands your fingers especially for me it really has to do with my fingers as you'll see and then I'm just taking a duckbill clip and just placing that um, where my bangs are at to kind of hold the volume up while I mold it with my fingers and spraying some hairspray to set it Once you get the wave the way you like it or the way your hair wants to go, I'm going to spread these little or separate these little curls right here. Then taking my Chi hairspray and setting all that. And here is the final hair look. I have a ton of videos on hairstyling, so if you don't get it right the first time, even the 10th or 20th time, you'll get it eventually. Now for outfit, I'm taking my Christian Louboutin Highness heels. I've used these a lot more than my other ones. And I'm pairing it with this pinup girl clothing Monica dress. I love this dress because it does have some shapewear built into the dress. So it'll give you those curves you're looking for. And I just love the beautiful red. It's very stretchy and it just hugs the right parts of you. I love the off the shoulder. I love the ruching that it has. I think it looks very elegant. And I love the way it looks styled with the plumish pink kind of lipstick. And then I have my lipstick pin right here on the side and that's from Vixen by Micheline Pitt. So this is the look. I hope you all enjoy it and I just wanted to say thank you for 400,000 subscribers. I cannot believe I hit 400,000. Why you guys follow me? I don't know, but I appreciate it so much. Thank you all. It's been such a journey going through this whole social media thing and the way YouTube's been changing. Um, thank you all for sticking around. Thank you for coming. And I just want to wish you, your family, and your loved ones a Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, a happy holidays. I love you all. Bye!